Hello, I'm Don Eckert. I'm a technical service representative with Caravan Ingredients, and I'd like to show you how easy it is to make soft pretzels using our softy pretzel mix. All you do is add yeast and water to our softy pretzel mix, and you can come up with some great soft pretzels. I have the dough here that I've flattened out. The important thing about the dough is that you want it to be a little bit on the stiff side, and it should come out of the mixer at about 70 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit so that it's a little bit easier to work with. The colder, stiffer dough makes it just a little simpler to work. Once you flatten it out and get it consistent across the face of it, we're going to cut it into about four or five ounce strips using a pizza cutter. Once the strips are cut, we're going to roll and form the pretzels. I roll it out in a nice even tube, just slightly wider than my body. And the proper way to tie a pretzel is to bring it around in a loop bring it over itself one time, and then bring it back, and then flip it over so that the points are on the bottom, and you get a perfectly formed pretzel. After a lot of practice, that's, after a lot of practice, it gets just a little bit different and a little bit faster, and that you roll it out, and with one motion, you can tie the pretzel. So again, on the slow side, as you're learning, it's over itself, one more turn, bring your points down, and turn it over. And there's your pretzels. During this demonstration, I'm going to show you a safer way to do it instead of using sodium hydroxide or household lye. Today we're going to be using a baking soda solution. It's a lot safer alternative than having caustic chemicals in your bakery. I have the solution here. It's 20% of baking soda based on water. So in two pounds of water, we have 3.2 ounces of baking soda. I'm going to dip the pretzels, allow them to dry just slightly on this screen to let the excess drip off. We're going to sprinkle them lightly with salt. And then transfer them to a baking paper, which has been sprayed with pan spray to make sure that they don't stick. <clears throat> Once you get them all panned up, I like to leave them on a rack on the floor for approximately 20 minutes just to let them proof up just a bit, and then take them to a hot oven. I use 475 degrees Fahrenheit, and we bake them for eight to eight and a half minutes until they're nice and golden brown. And the result of that is, is you end up with pretzels like this.